Welcome back to Bizarre Repairs. We got a very, very special video for you guys today. I'm gonna test out the Hanna Instruments fluoride detector. This thing will test the fluoride that's in your water, let you know how much is in there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open it and see what we got inside. I'm gonna try and stay in frame here. I like the box. Hannah. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Looks like we got the fluoride device here. Let's see, that says fluoride LR Regent. And some fluid on the side, hopefully that didn't leak out. We have uh, like a syringe type of thing here. A couple bottles and a battery. So first things first, we have to do what nobody likes doing. And that's read the manual. So let me read this and I'll be right back. All right, I got everything out now. And let's get started. First things first, it says to install the battery. Now there was a little bit of something leaking. I don't know if it was coming from this or from the battery. Some got on my hands, I just washed it off, didn't feel any irritation or anything, so. But I put some gloves on just to be safe. But let's go ahead and undo this screw. And install the battery. find something that's gonna get that out of there okay I got a little flathead I should be able to pop this out there just like so come out that like that and looks like the battery goes in just like that all right put it back down in there put the screw back in Powers on, and it does so cool, awesome. Okay, so now that the battery's installed, we already went ahead and turned it on. It says add C1 press. So I just went ahead and read the instructions, and it says to go ahead and add two mLs in each of the containers using this here. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Ew, ew, God, this looks weird. Almost like this has been corroded or something. Yeah. Anyway, let's peel this back here. Yeah. Shoot. Whatever's in here has came out. I'm just gonna have to poke a hole in there, like so. That's not good. Hopefully, this is not corrosive. Okay. So. Unscrew both of these like that. Okay, so two mLs. This is a one mL syringe, so two of them. Let's bring that to the line. Ooh, 
Good, I'm definitely going to seal this up and get it out of the way. Clean off my hands here. Okay. Now give me a second, we'll move on to step two. All right, the next step is to find, uh, get the first container here, and we're going to add eight mLs of de uh, deionizing water to it. Shake it up a little, little bit and throw it in here. And then the second one is going to be our water sample. So give me a second here. Let me get my deionizing water. I'm going to pour it into my little cup here. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour this in. Probably gonna spill a little bit, but it's okay. There's a line there. Okay, we're right at the 10 ml line. There we go, let's just wipe around it. Make sure this is nice and clean. It says to rotate a couple times. Go ahead and place it into the meter. And close it. Okay, now press and hold the button until the timer is displayed on the LCD. Okay, the timer is displayed. Okay, as the timer's winding down, I went and got me some crystal geyser water here. This will be our sample. I'm going to add that to the second bottle here. Okay, perfect. Close the lid. Should tell us to add the second sample in a minute, and it does. So take that out. Enter the second sample in here. Close the lid. And press the button. The instrument directly displays the concentration of fluoride in parts per minute. The meter automatically turns off after two minutes. So we have 0.15 amount of fluoride in our crystal geyser natural spring water. Pretty cool, huh? 